since I am a chemist, and I have a feeling of comradeship to this field of endeavor. I will probably be more kind in my approach while speaking of a chemist's intellect and expertise in some matters, but unfortunately, chemists are only capable of interpretation of the limb system's results, in most cases. Reporting will be superior with respect to the format and the information garnered by these people. But when it comes to knowledge outside of their expertise, they can be woefully inadequate to the tasks. Chemists are very intuitive when it comes to noticing trends and changes, but their knowledge of what the changes identify can be misleading, and they can reach improper conclusions based upon their identification of chemical processes associated with the problems instead of the mechanical possibilities that may indeed be the causative effects. Chemists are closely in tune with the manufacturing processes, since much of the work they do is directly in line with the production group, but just to a lesser degree. They have a more than basic knowledge of the QC-QA system and extensive knowledge of the equipment they operate. Most chemists understand what statistical process control is, even though they may not be able to apply it in real-world operations. Where chemists tend to lose their effectiveness in the LIMS administration, stems from their depth of knowledge of mechanical systems in the plant, computer hardware and software, and their direct experience with the administration aspects of the system, including the tie-ins to shipping and receiving departments. I guess, if you only had the choices of the individuals trained in basic areas of expertise, such as chemists, engineers, computer geeks, or statisticians, chemists would be the best choice for administration of a limb system. But then, you would have periods of failure due to prediction and interpretation of data. Therein lays the problem for the chemist who administers the LIMS system. As with most of the other possible LIMS administrators, chemists would have problems with supply lines and sales, and their reports may be overzealous and therefore virtually useless to administration leaders due to too much information. Chemists also love data and would probably inundate themselves with less than worthy sampling points to administer thus hiding the hazard analysis critical control points in an avalanche of numbers eliminating the usefulness of that system. Unless your chemist has a strong background in mechanical experiences and has an uncanny ability to quell his need for numbers, he will make the limb system just another step in the process instead of making the limb system the backbone of the manufacturing process. Only a practical-minded, well-rounded, inexperienced chemist would be proper for this work.